Hello, and welcome to our next lesson of IELTS Vocab Trainer. My name is Kit. I will be your instructor throughout this course, powered by IELTS EZ. Now, I'm sure many of you have gone through the situation where you have to look up words in a dictionary. Then, you have to figure out a way to remember them, and after some time, you might forget the new words you've learnt. So that's why we have created this course. We will have a set of video series with animated illustrations and interactive tools accompanied by mini games to make learning new words enjoyable, easy and effective. We will apply the concept of gamification of learning and flip the classroom in our methodology. So our students will be the centre of the classroom using our online tools and games in learning English. The purpose of this IELTS video series is to provide you a set of core vocabulary based around common themes that appear in the IELTS test, such as food, music, movies, sports and the weather. We will look at the themes I've mentioned and many more common ones throughout the series. By learning vocabulary through these themes in the most efficient way, you can increase your IELTS score in the speaking and writing modules if that topic arises, and be able to recognise and understand a larger range of words in the listening and reading modules. As you can see, being able to use a wide vocabulary range is a major advantage in IELTS. And of course, you can't learn new words without knowing how to pronounce them properly. Otherwise, your examiner may misunderstand what you are trying to say. So, with all the vocabulary you will learn, I will guide you to the correct pronunciation of each new word or phrase. Remember, you will be graded on vocabulary in both the speaking and the writing modules, and pronunciation in the speaking module. The lesson today will be on sports and activities. If you love sports, then I welcome you to this topic. If not, I welcome you anyway. You may learn something, and you never know, you may have a writing task, a reading, or speaking questions, or listening section on the topic of sport. So, how many sports do you know in English? Today, we will go through everyday vocabulary for different types of sports and activities, the verbs associated with playing them, and also equipment used in playing and doing them. First, I think I might test you to find out how many sports you can identify. So, you have 10 seconds to look at the picture here and say out loud seven sports that you see. Ready? Begin. All right, so how was that? You should have heard running, swimming, football, tennis, golf, baseball, and hockey. Let's say two of these again. Tennis, stress that S, and golf with a strong F sound. Good. See if you can follow me with the next set of pictures. I will give you some verbs associated with different types of sports. So, what sport is this? Yes table tennis or ping pong. When you play table tennis, you need a bat. You hit a ball over a net on a table. Bat, net, table. And this is volleyball. In volleyball, you serve a ball, like in tennis, and then you try and hit a ball over the net into the court. Serve, hit. Court. And this one. Basketball. In basketball, you need to bounce and shoot a ball into a hoop or basket. Bounce, shoot, hoop, basket. Okay, the next one is football, where you use a ball in a field and try to kick it into the goal. Ball. Field. Kick. Goal. And this is badminton. 
As in tennis, you use a racket, but you have to hit a shuttlecock, not a ball, over a net. Racket, shuttlecock, net. Finally, have you done this activity before? It's paintball. In paintball, you have to try and shoot an opponent with a gun filled with bullets of paint. Shoot. Gun. So, remember those words, as you will hear some of them again in this lesson. Let's go examine some more types of sports and activities. How many of these sports and activities do you know? Which ones have you tried? For me, I haven't done skiing, ballet, fencing, or weightlifting. Say these after me. Skiing, not skying. Ballet. Notice the T in ballet is a silent letter. Fencing. This is like sword fighting, and you can see it on TV when the Olympics is on. Which is your favorite, or which one would you like to try? My favorite is surfing. Think about questions such as these in the real IELTS speaking test. What is your favorite sport or one you would like to try? You never know, you might get a question like this in the speaking module in part one. And finally, there may be a couple of sports here you don't know. What is archery? This sport involves shooting a bow and arrow. Say after me, archery. And weightlifting? This is where you have to lift up heavy weights over your head. Can you do that? Say after me, weightlifting. Remember these sports, or even better, write them all down in a notebook. Now pause the video and go get a notebook and pen, and oh, remember to come back. Have you done that? Go on, don't be lazy. So you need to write all these sports down now. Now, for the next activity, you need to look at a picture containing many shadows of people doing various sports and I want you to look carefully and find only the sports that you've just written down in your notebook. From kickboxing to weightlifting, can you find all 10? When you see the enlarged picture, you may have to pause the video to give yourself enough time to find them. Here you are. Now, pause. Yes, pause it. How did you go? Did you manage to find all of them? If there are sports shadows there in the picture that you don't know, see if you can discover what they are. Here are the answers. Kickboxing. Surfing. Skiing. Horse riding. Fishing. Archery. Rollerblading. Ballet. Fencing and weightlifting. Here is a quick test for you now. Take your notebook and a pen again to write down some answers to these questions and pause the video when you need to. Now, can you name five sports where you can hit the ball? Four sports where you can pass the ball to another player. Three sports where you can catch the ball. Two sports where you can kick the ball and one sport where you can head the ball. Finally, what are the two sports in the pictures? If you said rugby and baseball, then you are correct. Good work. Now let's have a look at some more sports and activities and some of the typical equipment that is used for each one. Now look at the words and pictures that appear together and say after me. Golf, club, Tennis and badminton, racket, archery, bow. Baseball and tennis or cricket, bat. Hockey, stick. Snooker or pool or billiards, cue. Canoeing, paddle. Fishing, rod. Finally, let's have a look at a couple of questions that you may have in speaking part one in the IELTS exam. I will read a question and then I would like you to give a sample answer and I'll try to use some of the words that we studied today. The first question is, 
Is sports popular with all age groups in your community? And here is the second question. What are the most popular sports for young people in your country? All right, so good work. You've improved your vocabulary and pronunciation on the topic of sports and activities. And now we have reached the end of this lesson of IELTS Booster. Thank you and stay tuned for the next lesson.